What's going on guys, my name is Aaron, or XR Cosmo, and welcome back to another Overwatch video. Overwatch 2 could possibly be getting a released beta within the next few weeks. Yes, you heard me, next few weeks. But before I start, if you want the first and most reliable Overwatch 2 news, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to help support my channel. Also, everything I say in this video, take with a grain of salt, it is leaks. Please, please take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> All right, enough, enough. I don't even want to blab about this one. This is the first time I'm genuinely excited about Overwatch in a while, so I don't want to bore you guys. So when I talk about leaks, I do like to give a little bit of context to back them up because I wouldn't make a whole video about something that was just completely spineless. So don't worry, I'll be quick, but it will help this whole video make a lot more sense. What are these leaks? That Overwatch 2 beta is being released in mid-February. Where are these leaks from? Supposedly the Overwatch content creator meetings that span through November all the way up to the end of January. Who is talking about this? Another Overwatch YouTuber, Worst Sombra, who made a video with someone who is supposedly an insider who attended those meetings and can give us information. Where is all the other evidence for this? Well, that's what this video is. I'm kind of putting everything together for you guys so we can get a clearer view on all of this info put together with what content creators are saying and what the leaks are saying. Now, if you haven't noticed, a lot of content creators haven't even been talking about these leaks. And this has been news since around January 27th when the worst Sombra uploaded his video, which leads me to believe that this could be most likely partly true, mostly because of the big content creators not talking about it. Why? Because they're under NDA on these meetings and everything discussed in the content creator meeting they're not allowed to talk about, which I did not cop an invite to. Blizzard, get on that please. But besides the point of me not being invited and not being part of the Overwatch Cool Kid Club, uh, this is an important factor why these leads could be true. Along with that, Another thing with content creators, a lot of big streamers are coming back to the game, like Tim the Tapman, bringing Dr. Disrespect to two huge streamers who wouldn't normally play Overwatch, and Overwatch is not in the best stream state game right now, so there has to be a reason that they're coming back. Now, I'm sure most of you know about the just terrible Lunar New Year event with only two skins instead of six. Well, there was a statement from the Blizzard community manager as well saying that this year there will be more skins released than ever before in Overwatch's past and that in the coming weeks, he's going to be doing a completely different amount of work and a completely different workload. Could this have a hidden meaning tied in with these new leaks we're getting with like the new content maybe that's coming in and that's why he's going to be doing more work? With all of this in April, the new season of Overwatch League is also starting, which this is confirmed to be played on Overwatch 2. Now, it's not specified whether there will be new heroes or if it's just 5v5 with new maps like the previous playtest, but this would line up really well with these so-called beta announcements brought to light by these leakers. On to my personal opinion with this, I don't think Overwatch 2's beta will be released this month. They wouldn't do it with zero marketing, even though if you've watched my videos before, we know how much I think that sometimes Blizzard's marketing team are just a bunch of monkeys in an office on computers. But I could see a beta announcement in the coming weeks, I'm not going to lie about that, and then with that, the beta being dropped maybe mid-March before the Overwatch League officially starts. I couldn't tell you what I think the beta is gonna be it could be a mission just the pvp or even something else none of this was specified in any of the leaks and i don't think it will be specified until we get an actual beta announcement i just really hope we do get any type of play test because i think it would be good for the game's publicity and the leaker did say in the worst sombers video that the meeting was targeting content creators and new game content over esports which means something for us which i personally think is better than doing something for esports because it's definitely better for the game's health now along with this there is one more leak that i would like to talk about but it is definitely on the more janky side of the leak universe for Overwatch, and I don't want to be feeding you guys some boosh locky. That's not true. Yep, I just made up a new word right there because that's how much I don't want to feed you guys some boosh locky. <laughs> so take this one as literally 
a single piece of salt as the other one was a grain of salt yeah split that grain in half and and, and that's how much you should be believing in this leak i just want to talk about it because it has been surfacing a little bit and gaining some attention so twitter user fire the goal tweeted this out Overwatch 2 beta is very likely releasing, being announced in about 3 weeks. Router update for some game services like Battle.net included an update for Overwatch with over underscore demo in it or something similar. Someone on the forums provided evidence as well. Expect big news soon in my opinion. So. Firstly, he did say that he is not an insider at Blizzard, but he does have some very, very small Blizzard insider information. Now, how do we know this is true? We don't. That's why I'm saying be careful what you believe and what you read. I am just I am just talking about it in case it's true, though. <laughs> and the evidence on the forums he is talking about is simply just this picture. So, like I said, single half grain piece of salt like I said, I could edit this picture. I could make this picture. We don't know if it's real, but if it is, it kind of backs up everything I just talked about before. So I, that's why I really wanted to talk about this because if it is true, then it kind of backs everything up. So take that first leak as a more serious leak, and this one may be more as like a conspiracy leak. The only thing that I kinda have in mind making me think that this leak could be a bit bigger than we think it is, is because Dexterto, a pretty reliable gaming news source, reported on all of this as well, which I found kind of weird to just be talking about small little leaks like this from pretty unreliable sources if we're being real here. So yeah, like I said before, I think there will be an announcement talking about all of this stuff late February, and then a beta release for March, then Overwatch League will start, and I think that they will include more Overwatch 2 information within the first week of the League beginning, then maybe drop a release date for the actual full game, but once again, all educated guesses and speculation. What are you gonna do? I'm not a dev, I don't know how far they are into the game. Just an insight into my brain for you guys. <laughs> what do you guys think about all of these leaks? Do you think they're real? Do you have anything to add to these leaks? Leave your opinions and ideas in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you want more gaming content and news, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can see all my videos when they first come out. Also, if you want a shout out at the end of the video, leave a comment and you can get picked for that. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.